I think of patience, I think of being willing to take your time with people, not putting your timetable on other people. It's something not necessarily that you have, you're born with, it's something that you learn. It takes a calmness to really interact with people. I think where I see patients the most is working with Alzheimer's or dementia clients and being able to reapproach or listen to the same story over and over and over again and act like it's the first time you've heard that story. Our office is extremely busy, but I always see staff members taking the time with each client and each caregiver, each family member who comes through the door, every phone call that comes in. It's stopping and paying attention to what's going on around you and focusing on that one person. To have kindness with other people, we really need to kind of disregard what we need and we need to treat them with respect and with love. Well, one of the things that always strikes me at Home Instead is a question that we ask our potential caregivers' references. Um, we always ask them, would you like this person to come into your home and take care of your parents? Would you trust them? And to me, that just kind of personifies what we are about here because we have got to be so kind and so decent to these folks um, that, that we would want our caregivers in our homes taking care of our parents. Making it personal for each client. Having that smile on your face no matter what the challenge is or the day is bringing, how wonderful it can be or, or maybe not be. One of our intro specialists, Mary, she brings a dog treat to every introduction in case that client has a dog and to me that represents kindness because that animal is so important to the client, recognizing the dog when you're in the home. Um, is taking that extra step. Gentle, I think, is the, the main word that comes out when I think of kindness. The kindness just comes from the heart, a heart of compassion. When I think of being humble, I think of just being thankful for everything that I have. Being humble is doing things but not needing to be recognized for your actions or what you're doing. This is an organization that has compassion towards others and with that means others come first. We hear the stories that are just outstanding of these caregivers and yet they say to you, I, I don't feel like I did anything above and beyond because it was my job and it was my pleasure to help that client. The thing that stands out to me the most is Ben, our caregiver of the year, did not want <laughs> the hoopla of the celebration, she didn't want a dinner, she did not want to be the center of attention. Respectful is treating each person you come in contact with dignity and recognizing that everyone has their opinion um, and you need to listen to that opinion and, and take that in. We need to be so respectful in doing our personal cares for them. We make sure that through the whole process that they feel at ease with us. We try to respect them and realize that, that they're all God's children like we are. Everyone wants to have it, but you also have to earn it. Respectful to me is sharing your views, but also listening to the other person's views. There have been situations where like a, a daughter or a son will call and they know their parents may be a little more difficult on you know, that end and they will say, you know, I, I understand or they can be difficult, but I am glad that you understood that this is the way they live, this is what they want, and you're honoring their wishes. When I think of selfless, I think of a caregiver who told me once that every day when he gets to work, he takes all of his personal, um, the personal things going on in his life, and he literally imagines putting them in a suitcase and he leaves them outside the door and he walks in and it's all about that client. So it's not about him, it's not about what he needs that day, it's about what his client needs. To me, selfless means putting others in front of yourself. It's having more concern for others than for yourself. Realizing that they have needs and you're here and you can help them and they come first. It comes naturally, I think, if you're meant to be a caregiver. It's a passion in that caregiver's heart to always put others before yourself. 
It's valuing the importance of others first, and I think the people at home instead certainly do that. That's what, that's what the whole team is about, is valuing others before yourself. At Home Instead, for us, forgiveness means if someone makes a mistake, you address it and then you move on and you get past it. You look back at it so you can grow and then you move forward with it. Understanding that the clients have stressful days where they are going to take some of their frustration out on the caregiver and being able to go in the next day fresh. We realize that they come from situations that are difficult with physical problems, um, financial problems, and uh, if they're a little rude to us on the phone or a little short, that's okay. Every time we talk to them, we start with a fresh start. God has forgiven us, and His one requirement is for us to forgive others. And that, that, that's a huge picture. We have to forgive each other, and we can't hold on to anger. And that, that one kind of touches my heart. It, it's so that you can let go of it, you can move on. It's, it's almost like a gift to yourself when you forgive. You have to move forward with it, because if you don't, it's just going to hold you back and it's going to define a certain part of who you are, and then you're not going to be the best you can be. So it's letting go. It's forgiving. Honesty within Home Instead um, is sometimes having those hard conversations. When we take on a new client, when we sign a service agreement, to be able to be upfront and honest with that family. It's going out there and what you say, you live by and you, you deliver it. You, you believe in it. There can be times when honesty can probably pre be pretty harsh and at that time I, th I think we need to soften our tone. But honesty is being truthful for what is good and what's right. That it's going to be for their own good and we want to help them so we're going to tell them the truth. I see um, having those tough conversations with family members when their mom or dad might need more care um, and letting them know they may not want to hear it um, and just letting them know this really needs to happen you know for the best um, care for your mom or dad. Commitment is giving a hundred percent at all times and seeing things through from beginning to the end. This is not just a job, this is a calling that we're doing. At Home Instead Senior Care, when we go and do an assessment in a home of a new client, we make that commitment to them that we are going to keep them safe and do the best we can to take the best possible care of them. We're committed to doing a good job, making a good match, filling shifts, uh, making sure our RPNs understand what we do. So it's, we're all committed, it's a family. It's having that passion and executing it. You have to walk your talk. And I think everybody at Home Instead Senior Care has done just that. They're walking their talk. I think we're here to change people's lives. We are their companion and we turn into their friend. It's part of God's plan. I, I mean, it's, I mean, for me, you're put on this earth to help others. And this business, this company allows you to do that.